Hey guys, this is Matt from Discovering His Way. I'm doing a review on the Only Fire rotisserie ring, which is the exact same as the Weber ring. I've owned a both and I really can't tell a difference. One of the best features about the ring is this, that I can take it camping. And you might think, well, man, I'm not taking my kettle girl camping with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to use the fire pit that comes with the camping thing or rocks or something. This is all you need this is all you have to bring because you can sit this right on top of the fire that already exists that firing or that thing that hedges all you need is a few rocks to get this up over the fire more times than not i'm bringing this when i go camping because it makes the most fabulous rotisserie chickens and roasts right there while i'm camping and i'm eating gourmet food here in the backyard i have a firing let me show you this all I've done for the last hour and a half is cleaned it out because I have not used this for such a long time. I just put a few bricks in the middle. What I'm gonna do is just put my fire ring here. I'm gonna build a fire underneath that. I'm gonna let it burn for a little bit, let the coals get down, and then I'm gonna put my chicken on it. But oh, again, that's a nice piece right there. Oh, I like the good stuff. I like the good stuff. Oh, come here. Where's my rotisserie wood I want? Ah, that'll work. That looks good. Oh yeah, I love the small little pieces. Oh, that's a nice piece. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right. Yeah. Got some beautiful fire. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wood may be a little wet because it rained a couple days ago. Let me give it a good coat. I'm gonna let this burn way down, so I'm not really worried about how much of this stuff I'm using. We'll have burned through all that. is looking perfect still have a lot of wood to burn but it's mostly coals now and that's gonna be enough off the fire come on we could actually even add more wood if we wanted to I'm gonna go ahead and put when you're doing this guys and it may not look at look at see this right here guys it may not be even that doesn't matter. Your bird's gonna go right across the hottest part of the fire. And right here, there's plenty of heat. I mean, I could even let that die down just a little bit more, but I don't know if I need to. Let's shove that in there. And like I said, the wood it smells delicious. That's all you need. And here, like I said, we're just gonna this this is the only fire ring i have the weber ring as well both of them honestly in my opinion are very very equal they're just they're just both of them are fantastic rings this ring already is hot right there now we're powering this again with my halo okay you can get a jacker you can get a halo uh, you can run an extension cord if you're at your house. You can use an inverter with your car. You can use even a Honda generator, one of those baby generators. But this right, thing works. Here's our bird. I went ahead and washed the bird really, really good. I'm going to slide the bird in there. And this thing's already turning, which I love. And I'm, I 
adjust that right over there. Oh yeah. Now one of the things I like to do guys, if you can hear me, is I honestly put oil all over my bird. Also, I wanna soak those ropes. So the ropes, ooh, that's a lot of heat coming off there. <laughs> I soak the string, the butcher string. And the reason I do that is I don't want that butcher string catching fire and it's most, it's a lot less likely to catch fire and yes, some of this I could have done in the house, but I kind of feel like it's kind of more woodsy doing it right here outside. So that's olive oil. All right, next thing I want to do is I, I love Laurentini's seasoning salt. Uh, if you ever bought a chicken at Costco or Sam's Club, this is the main ingredient, this and pepper. And this is gonna self-baste as it's going around. So you're like, man, that's an awful lot of salt. Yeah, but a lot of it drips off, guys. A ton of it drips off. On top of that, I'm gonna use just a little bit of cayenne. And that's just gonna give it a little Joe Bang, guys. It's gonna give it a wonderful flavor. And again, it's self-basting, and a lot of this is going to drip off into the fire. But as it does, that fire is gonna put that smoke up. It's really gonna taste delicious. This is onion, onion powder. Oh, that's looking delicious. It, look at that, doesn't that look delicious? And I, it's not even, it, it just went on there. Guys, right. that was onion powder. And then I like uh, garlic powder, not garlic salt. Garlic salt is really strong. So I'd rather use Lawrence's seasoning salt and then use a garlic powder on it. Let that turn around for a minute. Oh yeah, perfect. And last but not least, uh, paprika. Paprika is gonna give it a wonderful color and it's gonna give you that nice coat on top. So when, when the chicken's done, it's gonna be have this beautiful color. And also, as you're doing this over hardwoods, you have to realize the flavor is going to be insane. So guys, it's been about an hour and a half spinning and the chicken is looking absolutely delicious. I can't wait to just chow down on it, but take a look at it before I go ahead and pull it off. The internal temperature, the internal temperature is 165. That's exactly where you want poultry. Um, it's looking good. I had a couple mishaps where the rotisserie stopped. Um, so I had to restart that up. That's no big deal. My um, battery pack every 40 minutes turns off, so I just have to push a button to turn it back on, but it didn't burn or anything. So I had to add a couple little pieces of wood to the fire, but oh, I can't tell you, I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. I really am. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and realize that what I'm doing, you can do at your house. Hey, whether it's a campground, whether it's the park, or whether it's just behind your house, you can do this. This isn't rocket science. It's not hard. It's very easy. And the food comes out delectable. All right.